Hey folks, have you heard the news? Lightroom Classic now supports PSB documents. This means that if you have images larger than four gigabytes, they can finally be added to your Lightroom catalog. Yes. So this is kind of a big deal for me. Many of us have been wishing for PSB support in Lightroom for years. Back in 2016, I made this tutorial showing a really lame way to be able to access PSB files in Lightroom with a messy workaround. Don't watch it because like I said, it's lame and it's no longer necessary. Then in 2018, I made this tutorial showing an updated method for accessing PSB files in Lightroom that's only slightly less lame. Don't watch this video either because finally, as of the February 2020 Lightroom Classic update, we have PSB support in Lightroom. And if you don't have it, go to your Adobe Desktop app and update Lightroom Classic to enable this capability. Like me, I know a lot of you have been wanting this, so you totally know what it means and you're psyched. For everyone else, let me explain. PSD files stand for Photoshop Documents. In the early days of Photoshop, these were the only file types that supported Photoshop layers, so everyone using Photoshop saved images as PSDs. But PSD files have a size limit of just two gigabytes. Plenty big for digital images 15 years ago, but not so much now. Fast forward a few years and the TIFF file format began supporting Photoshop layers with the added benefit of having a four gigabyte size limit. Lightroom supports both PSD and TIFF files, so whichever you use, you can import them into your Lightroom catalog. But as higher megapixel cameras, stitching multiple images into large panoramas, and the use of luminosity mask layers have become more common, many of us are creating image files that exceed the four gigabyte TIFF file limit. If you've ever tried to save an image that's over four gigabytes, then you've seen this frustrating Photoshop message. Photoshop's answer for saving these big images is the PSB file, which I'm guessing stands for Photoshop Big. How big? Well, instead of four gigabytes, PSB files have a size limit of four exabytes. How big is that, you might ask? Well, it's four billion gigabytes. That's a lot of gigabytes. I don't think you're in any danger of creating an image file too large to be saved as a PSB anytime soon. In fact, I doubt any personal computers currently exist that could open an image that large. The problem with PSB files has always been that you can't import them into your Lightroom catalog. So even though we have been able to save our big image files as PSBs, to be able to view and access those files in Lightroom, you had to use one of those time-consuming and annoying methods I explain in those videos I told you not to watch. At least you had to until now. With the latest Lightroom update, now when you get the warning that an image exceeds four gigabytes, simply save it as a PSB file instead, and it will now import and show up in Lightroom. It's just that simple. What about previous PSB files that you were not able to add to your Lightroom catalog at the time you saved them? Well, now you can easily add them to your catalog using the synchronize folder feature. If you know of a folder that contains one or more PSB files, Simply choose Synchronize Folder and Lightroom will find those PSB files and allow you to import them into the catalog. However, if you didn't save the PSB file with the Maximize Compatibility option checked, you'll get this message. All you need to do is open the PSB in Photoshop manually and save it again with the Maximize Compatibility option checked and now it should synchronize. You can also use the synchronize folder option with a parent folder and it will search all the folders within. This can save a lot of time over going folder by folder looking for PSB files. But be aware that if you have a lot of folders, it can still take Lightroom quite a bit of time to search through all those and it will also find any images or videos in those folders that are not currently in your catalog. If you only want to import the PSBs and not the rest of the missing files, then simply find and select the ones that you want. I'm so happy to finally have PSB support in Lightroom. I don't even have that many PSB files because I often avoided creating them due to the difficulty of trying to manage them in Lightroom. But now that PSB files work the same in Lightroom Classic as any other file type, perhaps I'll throw my four gigabyte caution to the wind more often. Okay, that's it for this one. 
There are some other nice features in the Lightroom 9.2 update, so if I get inspired, I might do videos on some of those as well. Until then, I'll link to a great video by the esteemed Matt Klaskowski that'll take you through them. Leave me any questions or comments that you might have and I'll get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to make sure you see what I have for you next. As always, I hope this has been helpful. And thanks for tuning in and I'll see you again next time.